Hi, this is Maginoni, and here is a review for Pippo Chews Volumes 1 and 2. I am really at a loss of words for this one. This is a combination of, uh, I guess you can say, a coming of age, growing experience, and violent bloodbath of death and destruction. The story centers around a young boy named Milton, which is this guy here. He's from the south side of Chicago, and he has a hard time learning his identity or being who he is because he's got to go through like street gangs and very tough part of the city to get to his part-time job at a comic book store where he can be the otaku fanboy that he always wants to be, which is this based off of the Peppo Chu character. And he has a very tough life with that. Now, while that's going on, there's a huge Yakuza gang war going on in Japan. And stuff is about to hit the fan. Now, as fate would have it, uh, the comic store that uh, Milton works at is owned by... Oh, I can't really put it into right words, but I'll, I'll show you the picture. That's the owner right there. And he is a monster of death and bloodshed. Well, the comic store is a front, and basically he's sent to Japan to take care of some Yakuza. And along the way, what he does is he takes his, the two, uh, his one employee and Milton. Milton wins this contest. And see, the thing is, because Milton is such an otaku, the contest is rigged because the guy thinks that Milton actually knows Japanese, and then that's what's going to help him you know, score with the ladies. Unfortunately, Milton only knows Peppo Chu language, which is a bunch of gibberish nonsense. And things just go bad, and things go bad very fast for Milton and company. Now, overall, I gotta say, this is, it's really entertaining in a way, just because you get this two different vastly different storylines that are going and you know at some point in time they're going to converge and uh, I'm trying to be very careful as to what I can show you guys because there's a lot of nudity and stuff like that but anyways here's an example here where in America the Peppo Chu anime series just took off and you see a bunch of kids just doing the, the Peppo Chu dances they have crazy um, languages and it's just insane. It's kind of like, I guess what you can describe it is, um, imagine Pokemon combined with Animaniacs on crack. And that, that's Peppo Chu. And it actually even talks about how there's the divide between manga fans and comic fans. You know, the thing is people just don't realize they're both comics. But, you know, they both draw the line in the sand and they both hate each other. So that's even addressed in here. But um, the story really takes, um, really gets into high gear once they get into Japan and, you, and the bloodbath begins. Uh, I cannot recommend this to everybody because this is an over-18 manga. And um, it really definitely earns that warning right there. Every, every, so far these two volumes are just filled. I mean, there's like nice and innocent stuff, and then bloodbath. Nudity, bloodbath again. And I, I, I can't, I wish I can spoil the last page. Because if there was anybody who was on the fence for wanting to get this book, if you saw the last page, you would be on Amazon buying it right now. And one other note before I end the video is uh, Felipe Smith is actually um, an American living in Japan uh, who created his own manga. So he's one of those, I guess, people that made it. You know, because in Japan it's very difficult for anybody who's not Japanese to succeed in um, being a creator. And he's a prime example of some, a rare example, I should say, of somebody who, who made it. And I'm, I'm telling you, this book is if you're not even a, um, a, a true like uh, if you're worried about it being very manga like it's not it, as you can tell by the art 
it's very like I guess you can say it definitely has that, that American influence and it's just insane it is literally insane with sex violence and crazy kid dancing and I probably should stop doing the randomness because it's gonna bite me anyways highly recommend it. if you have any comments or questions let me know rate the video like the Facebook like the Crunchyroll link there because I do the Crunchyroll anime reviews and I'll have more reviews later so until next time